never felt so alive in my life Cause you make me come to life every time I'm free Oh, and I'm loving all that you do Can't you see? Progressive overload check mark. Let's go. Feeling so energized today. Maybe it was because of all the pumpkin spice stuff we had this morning, protein style. The muffins, fire. Should have already seen that meal prep video with everything. Just add a little bit of sweetener to that. They are so moist, spot on. Overnight oats, they are great too. But once we get that PE Science pumpkin spice, if it's still available, guys, go check it out. 10 off 30. And then Too Good has a pumpkin flavored yogurt out too. Once we add that, it's going to be next level pumpkin. Can't wait for it. Got something awesome I want to start off with this morning is a new challenge. So many of y'all been blowing me up about wanting a challenge. You need something to hold you accountable. You want that team. You want that camaraderie. You want that lifting up to motivate you to get your butt in the gym each and every day. And I've got the challenge for you. All four gains. F-O-U-R. Reason why is because I'm challenging you for five weeks. I'm going to put the dates right here when we're starting to move your body at least four times a week for an hour each day. I know that might seem like a lot, but it's not. You're Netflixing, you're on social media. If we calculate all that times, girl, you're on there more than an hour. Be real. It's got time. You've got time. You can make time for things that are important to you. You can make excuses for things that aren't. So make sure that you're making that time for you and to get those gains for fall. We don't have to just do hot girl summer cutting around here. We can still see progression all year long. And that's the way it should be. We should be wanting to strive to get healthy every single day of our life, not just for hot girl summer and this and that that I'm always seeing on social media. So many of y'all are living y'all's pumpkin spice YOLO life and gaining all your hot girl summer gains back anyway. So we got to reel it in, ladies and gents, reel it in. We're going to be moving our body for four days a week for an hour, guys. You can split that up if you want. It doesn't have to be a consecutive hour. Just move your body, walking, running, whatever your particular goals are, it can be to gain weight, maintain. It can be to lose weight, to gain muscle, to go up in progression on your lifting, to go up in running as far as your speed, your overall time, run a 5k, whatever it is, you make your specific goals for you. The only requirement for me is that you move your body four days a week for an hour of those four days for five weeks. Take your picture, another requirement on day one and your measurements. You don't even have to weigh if the scale is not a thing for you. You know, I hate that damn scale, but pictures tell the story. So make sure you take your pictures on day one, measurements, and we'll take them at the end, compare, 
And if you are going to be a part of the challenge and if you follow me on social media on IG, make sure to tag me, NP Burgess 184, and hashtag fall for gains. Each day you do your workouts, whatever, your pictures, weigh-ins, all that good stuff. I want this to be us lifting, motivating, and inspiring each other to get overall healthy. It doesn't matter what lifestyle you choose, what your particular goals are, but we're all going to be moving our body four days a week for an hour. We can all share that and lift and motivate each other in that aspect. And we can freaking come to the Thanksgiving dinner table looking all snatched as hell, y'all. Let's go. Doesn't have to just be hot girl summer, y'all. It can be hot girl, hot guy fall time too. I mean, let's be healthy all year long. That is the main goal is to be overall healthy each and every day, all day long, not just a particular time of the year. I'm at the grocery store. What's new? Let me go in here and get what I need, but I'm so excited about this challenge, y'all. I'm excited for it. If you're excited for it, leave it in the comments down below. 1220 lunchtime. We've got some meal prep to the rescue. Make sure you're watching the meal prep videos too, guys. So many easy, simple ideas. You just pick a veggie or pick some kind of blend, add a protein, add some other stuff. That's what I've been all about lately. This is a Green Giant Fresh Southwest Chipotle Sweet Corn Blend. Say that five times fast. I had two bags left, so that's why we're using it up, getting things out of here. Seven ounces of ground venison, 20 grams of Great Value Reduced Fat Fiesta Blend, and 35 grams of avocado on top. A Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar Cream Soda, for 600 calories and 34 net carbs. 240 calories are coming from that green giant blend. That was bomb and so freaking filling. Like I just can't even right now. I did add some Siete hot sauce to it. Love this stuff because it's super clean ingredients. Y'all know all Siete stuff is and it's like zero everything. I like my stuff spicy. Clock snack time before Trace gets off the bus. We are doing pumpkin spice Cheerios like all day every day in built bars just to make snacks and desserts super easy this week and not over complicated. Instead of doing the premier shake, I'm using the PE Science Cake Pop and I use the last I have of this almond milk. I'm getting some more from Imperfect Foods because it has been a little hard to find since Ida down here. 321 calories and 34 net carbs. 31 carbs coming from the little bit of Cheerios you see there, but they are fire. Like the boys love them. I love them. I have the cinnamon ones to try too. So stay tuned later. We'll bust into those. 509 dinner time early because Waylon has a baseball game tonight. We are trying something new from Trader Joe's, the Kung Pao chicken. We tried the Mandarin over the Ida quarantine and it was really good. Like that's one that you need to buy multiple bags of for your family because everybody was raving about it. So awesome. This one is one and a half servings. That's one and a half servings. Doesn't look like a lot and almost 400 calories. So this stuff adds up fast. Fast. Make sure that you're weighing it on your scale. We've got some shrimp for some extra protein over there and some stir fry from Members Mark. That is one cup, little bitty. And then we've got a little bit of the sweet chili sauce from Trader Joe's weighed out as well for 598 calories, 31 net carbs. Verdict is in. Pass on the Kung Pao chicken and stock up on that Mandarin orange chicken because it is bomb.com. This one, it's just okay. Like I would not purchase it again and always want to keep things 100% with you guys so you don't waste your money on things. Let me be the guinea pig. We will pass on this one next time. 740 dessert time. We're doing a vanilla too good yogurt. Yes, I still like the two goods. They're keto friendly for my keto peeps out there, but I just like the way they taste. They're low calorie winning. Caramel brownie is one of my favorites. It's one of those pop-up flavors. Speaking of, check to see if the cookie dough chunk is still available, y'all. It might be sold out, but in Burgess will get you a discount. I plan on getting cookie dough wasted. Apple streusel granola by Good and Gather. This is a limited edition. Not keto, but lower in carb, lower calorie granola. A lot of y'all have been looking for lower calorie granolas. Not so much about the carbs that are doing the anabolic way of eating. Good and Gather has a lot of them. This one is 110 calories for 26 grams. We've got 10 grams in there, so it's about 45 calories. 252 calories and 14 net carbs for our dessert tonight. Can't wait to try this granola. Monday's macros, we did 227 grams of protein, 74 grams of fat, 2,294 calories, spot on. 153 net carbs for 210 total. Let's go Tuesday, our first leg day of the week. I can feel the power, I can feel the power. Feel the power. Yeah, money that is time and hour. Time and so, hour. Yeah, well, I better activate the power. 
I'ma activate it, gotta make it, gotta chase it I don't care what they be saying, I'ma do it now And I've been really safe and I ain't giving up and I ain't giving in Do it now, for the dividends, I'll be on the path I just gotta get it, cause I got my mind on some bigger things So man, I ain't gonna give in now, I just gotta live this now I be gonna be when I'ma kill this stuff real quick I'ma go take it to town, cause I gotta be that king in the ring And I'm not getting mad when I'm back with the real Cause I am just up for the journey, you just know that I'm just going insane There's some things that I might see And when I do, I could never get no sleep Cause I just need to get it, man, I need to be The thing that I just painted out, man, you won't go see See my vision, I'll be in it, I'ma kill it, I'ma take it all Come in there, I'ma play it now, I'ma kill him dark, I'ma play the ball Cause I gotta go and get it, man, I really just need it Tell these guys that they can beat it I'ma get it, I'ma grab it, man, take it, never receive it I'ma make it mine, I'm explosive like a mine I've been working every time morning happy tuesday oh the leg day leg day one of two i have a meme that i'm posting on friday that says uh let's go to the gym twice a week to train legs and then it says psychopaths at the bottom it me y'all it me it's working it is paying off okay i'm here for it i'm feeling stronger in the lower half region where i can say that leg day is a challenge for everybody everybody hates leg day right it's like the worst day of the week as far as workouts go for everyone but i feel like me doing more is helping get it going like I don't know I'm just loving it and here for it and today I'm not gonna say it was easy it's never easy it was a struggle but I felt so freaking good I was sweaty as all hell like I'm dry now but man before I got on the treadmill and did my incline walking I was dripping with sweat you can't always go off this watch either guys so many people rely on this for everything just like your macro calculator is not a hundred percent either it's the best that we can do but don't like look at this as the the Bible because it's not like you might be burning more you might be burning less you're doing more for your body than this watch tells you sometimes so just like with the scale don't worry about your damn watch all the time and be like oh my gosh I gotta get to 500 calories on my watch this is not accurate either it's it's better than nothing but it's not the Bible ran into one of my gym buddies in there as well and we were talking about another person in there that we met and she was almost 300 pounds and within a year and a half like y'all you should see this girl she is like incredible and he was telling her my story and then we got up and we started talking and you know it's you can't judge people in the gym you know so like if I was just looking at her I would have never dreamed that she weighed 300 pounds right just like I was 230 at one point myself so I have so many people that look at others in the gym girls and I've mentioned this many times here on the channel and they're wearing specific leggings that are showing off their bum or shorts that are a little short and people judge them you don't know everybody's story you damn right that I'm gonna wear some kind of leggings that are showing off my behind and I'm gonna wear the shorts wear the shorts ladies cuz at one point we were covering ourselves up we felt so bad about ourselves and now that we've lost the weight and we feel comfortable in our own bodies we should be able to wear what we want without judgment and everybody walks in that gym at some point in time a certain way and you grow and you lose the weight and everything else not everybody walks in the gym shredded everybody has a story so check yourself before you judge somebody on what they're wearing what they're doing all the things in the gym because guess what they started off just like you did and ladies and gents don't be intimidated to go in the gym so many of y'all send me messages that you're scared because you're intimidated by others that are muscular or fit they weren't always like that they started off a certain way as well think about it they've busted ass to get where they are don't be intimidated by them they look at you and they get inspired by you showing up in the gym as well Everybody lifts, motivates, and inspires each other. Everybody I've talked to in the gym and met in the gym is like that. There hasn't been one single person I've come across that, except for that one guy that was like, you remember if you're an OG for the most part everybody is like so uplifting and inspiring in the gym and they all have a story and they want to share that story with you so get your butt in the gym move your body do the damn thing show up 
I'm at Walmart again. What am I even doing? Oh, okay, your kids, are they like growing like weeds? We're about to have a cool snap come through and we don't really have a lot of like cool clothes weather, if that makes sense, because it's freaking a million degrees most of the year. However, my boys both have grown out of like pants, long sleeve tees. I'm like, what the hell? Went to Walmart yesterday, as you know, I picked up some pants. I picked up just one pair to try on Waylon. They too small. So I gotta return them. I tried stuff on with Trey. I know what size he wears. Mama's going in there to clothes shop for these boys because I got Amazon boys on my hands. What can I say? 12 o'clock, back home from Wally World. Got the boys a ton of stuff. I'm gonna look for some long sleeve shirts at Target though for Trey though. They were limited on long sleeve stuff. I mean, it is 100 degrees still down here, girl. Up to the rescue. We have Trader Joe's shrimp stir fry. It's in the frozen section. The entire bag is just 190 calories. I went ahead and cooked it for meal prep. And then I've got 10 ounces of salmon. I have some salmon in the freezer I need to use up and it's good healthy fats. On top, I've got some sweet chili sauce by Trader Joe's. This stuff is a must when you go. Like, it's something I will pick up every time I go, which isn't often. One tablespoon is 20 calories, and it is two net carbs. It's super yummy. And then, of course, the goat of zero sugar sodas, the Dr. Pepper flavored ones. They are my jam. 593 calories and only nine net carbs, keto peeps. Okay, Trader Joe's, I see you with that Kung Pao chicken sucked last night and this stir fry shrimp was freaking fire for 190 calories for the whole freaking bag. I don't remember how much it costs, but that's gonna be great for future meal prep. So you make that, it was a lot, high volume, let's go. And then add whatever other protein to it or a healthy fat source like the salmon that I did. Yes, please, ideas for that. Y'all know your girl is making a list of the things that we gotta rebuy up the Trader Joe's, but the one nearest to me, I think I've said this before, is out of stock because of Ida. I might have to make a special long, freaking trip. What is my life? 2.30 and I'm hungry. Leg day got me like, what? I've got the Cheerios. I've got a little bit left in the bag, so I just threw the box away. The pumpkin spice ones, fire. I have the cinnamon ones I need to try as well. That's 50 grams of Cheerios and one of the Premier Protein Pumpkin Spice Shakes, using them up this way versus coffee. I don't recommend these. The birthday cake one I tried this morning though, it has a slight hint of birthday cake flavor, not super strong, but I like it, all right? If you like vanilla, you'll like it. And then a Dr. Pepper Cherry Zero Sugar for 356 calories, 39 net carbs. So I'm sure I already mentioned it earlier, but if I didn't, I woke up at 1 a.m. for the launch for this freaking flavor because I hear it's the goat of Built Bars. I'm not in the loop. I am getting there, getting there, y'all. The chocolate chunk cookie dough, okay? So it just arrived. The samples arrived at my door. I cannot wait to try these. I ordered two boxes this morning at 1 a.m., set my alarm, went back to bed. Like, that's how obsessed I am with Built Bar and how much I love them. And everybody that's tried these in the past said they are like the bomb. So I had to go ahead and buy two boxes. But I'm definitely going to eat one of these tonight and let you guys know. Also got new goodies from Redmond's. Y'all know I'm obsessed with Redmond's. They're pre-workout, the electrolytes, salt, spices, all the things. This is all brand new. So they have two new flavors and their electrolytes, mango and strawberry lemonade is what I'm most excited for. And I'm most excited for these two new capsules. So it's the muscle recovery. So everything from Relight is all clean, like natural ingredients. There's nothing in here at all that is bad. You can take a look right there, but I cannot wait for the muscle recovery one. If you are a heavy lifter, I think we all could use that energy boost. This is a natural energy booster versus like a bang or an energy drink. And y'all know I haven't been drinking those, so that is a win. And then these are some hydration support. So if you don't wanna do the powders in a liquid, you can take these instead and they'll give you the same results. So check down below for the website. Ember just gets you a discount as well. And stay tuned for the vlogs because y'all know I'll be taking these things, letting y'all know what I think. 5.40, dinner time. I've made this a couple of times. I'm gonna film it for a reel over on IG, but I know a lot of y'all don't do IG, so I wanted to show it here and I'll put it in the description box. I've got a pound of venison that I went ahead and, you know, sauteed up, whatever. And then I put the Siete taco seasoning in here. Really love this because it's super clean ingredients. Make sure though that you plug it in because for every two teaspoons is two carbs. So it's definitely not carb friendly, but definitely good for cutting and definitely good ingredients for a taco seasoning. A lot of the other ones are cruddier. That's it. And then a bag of that Tattooed Chef cauliflower stir fry mix from Costco. 
that's it. That's all that's in here. So freaking fire. I'm telling you, it doesn't look like much, but once you plate it up and then I've got some reduced fat mozzarella, not mozzarella, Fiesta blend from Great Value and then some light sour cream on top. And then you take your Quest chips and dip them in. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you like the easiest thing, but the hubs and I both looked at each other the first time I made this and was like, dang, this is fire. So that's why it's like in the rotation. Cause number one, I'm all about easy. Number two, minimal ingredients and a freaking fire tasting and high in protein. So it may not look like a lot, but it is bomb. So that is one serving of the Mexican ground beef with the cheese is 387 calories and 14 net carbs. All your carbs are coming basically from that taco seasoning. So seasonings, they add up. When you think that you don't need to track your seasonings, those packets, you definitely do. We got the protein chips on the side by Quest, 140 calories, and then 25 grams of light sour cream for 29 calories, totaling 557, 19 net carbs. I'm telling y'all, make your life easy on Taco Tuesday and make that Mexican beef with some Quest chips so far. Never skip dessert y'all and we are trying out this damn bar. I've got to see what all this hype is about. Stay tuned and we're doing an enlightened sea salt caramel ice cream bar. Y'all know I love these. I have like three boxes that I hoarded way back when I'm trying to go through. They're only 80 calories and five net carbs by the way and they are legit fire. Do this all the time. I forget to film for YouTube. I forget to film for Instagram. Here's what I just filmed for the gram. So here's what it looks like. Y'all see the chunks of the cookie dough in there? It tastes, the bar itself, like just the bar with no chunks, tastes just like cookies and cream to me, but with the added cookie dough, it's next level. Like when you get a bite with that cookie dough in it, it's like pure bliss. I'm not even lying. Hands down, best flavor. I see what all the hype is about because you're, that tastes like straight up cookie dough. It is fire. Tuesday's macros, 264 grams of whopping protein, uh, way over the protein. I'm here for it. 57 grams of fat. I strive to get at least 50. We've been doing really well at being over that number for sure. 2,273 calories for maintenance, 116 net carbs. Look at me with all these carbs left over today winning. I feel great going into hump day, y'all. Start every day with an awesome mindset. End each day with an awesome mindset. Make sure you're getting that sleep, y'all, though. Make sure you're getting that sleep. It's most important. Every single day, I'ma kill this competition Cause I'm going so excited hey, hey. I don't really go by so saying, Yeah, I guess really ran through the pain But I'm just back on my path And I fixed it now, it's really okay So I ain't gonna waste yeah, my chance and just my time So I'ma be a monster, I'ma kill him This is mine, yeah, yeah I could never get no sleep Cause I just need to get it Man, I need to be The thing that I just painted out Man, you won't go see See my vision, I'll be in it I'ma kill it, I'ma take it all Come in there, I'ma play it now I'ma kill him dark, I'ma play the ball Cause I gotta go and get it, man, I really just need it Tell these guys that they can beat it I'ma get it, I'ma grab it, man Take it, never receive it I'ma make it mine I'm explosive like a mine I've been working every time yeah. Morning, happy hump day killed a push day. I freaking killed my triceps. I think my triceps might fall off. I attempted the tricep dips again today. I still suck at them, <laughs> but I'm not giving up. I am trying. I am trying and just practice makes perfect, right? So that's what I'm showing up and doing each and every push day is just practice them a little bit. I've been doing some other tricep exercises as you guys saw and just really pushing myself as much as possible in that area. I feel like chest, triceps, I'm like 
week and I need to do more. I need to do progressive overload more. So that's the goal. I'm also feeling really good today and I don't know why, but because the shark arrived today and I should not be feeling that great, right? Because the shark's here and all the feels, but last, I get my feels now like the week before the shark comes. Ladies, let me know down below. Like, do you get all the shark feels the week it comes or do you get it the week before? So I was like super crampy, bloated, feeling like a million pounds last week. Now that it's arrived, I'm feeling fire and feel fire. It's okay to feel great in your own skin. It's okay to post that selfie on your social media and be proud of it. There's nothing wrong with that. If that's what makes you feel good, if that's what's going to motivate yourself to get your ass back in the gym, to keep pushing forward, then do it. And don't care about what anybody says on those comments on your social media and don't care about what other people think. You are the only one that should worry about what yourself thinks and that's it period. I was feeling myself today. I'm not going to lie. I'm hashtag not full of myself, but I was feeling it today. And I was like, hells yes, let's go. I suck at these tricep dips, but I don't give an ish because I am showing up and I'm trying and I am feeling the other exercises and we are just doing the damn thing. Doing the damn thing each and every day and feeling freaking awesome. That's what you should have in your mind each and every day is to show up guys, do a little bit more than you did yesterday doesn't have to be great keep on keeping on y'all keep on keeping on we are trucking and headed into that rest day tomorrow i think i'm gonna do some self-care since ida i haven't had any self-care and your girl needs a little self-care right now but day three day three of going to a freaking grocery store what is my life like i go to a grocery store every single day every day I'm at a grocery store I thought it was bad before Ida but now because of Ida and there not being uh, certain things at each and every store we live at the grocery store I might as well get a like sleeping bag and start sleeping there 1205 meal prep on repeat from Monday the exact same Southwest beef bowl that we had I'm gonna add some Siete hot sauce Dr. Pepper zero sugar cream soda 576 calories 34 net carbs Meal prep is winning. Are you guys meal prepping out there? You better check out those videos I'm posting. Stuffed and satisfied. Snack time, almost 2.30. We're doing snack on repeat. Just to make things easy, it's full of protein, and I like it. I like it, all right? But instead of using the cake pop, we're gonna try the snickerdoodle today. I haven't tried the snickerdoodle with the pumpkin spice Cheerios. That's probably gonna be fire. And then we've got the Califia unsweetened almond milk I just got from Imperfect Foods. I was legit out, so that came in clutch. 355 calories, 36 net carbs. Six o'clock dinner time. We are doing like a high protein anabolic Parmesan chicken. I don't know, but I saw it on Pinterest and y'all so easy. I'm hoping it tastes good. So it's just some chicken breast that I cut into two pieces because they were like beast mode size. And it's some Faye Greek yogurt, some garlic and herb by Kinder, some garlic powder, and some Parmesan cheese. And you make like a paste and you put it all over it and bake it for 375 for 45 minutes. We're gonna try it out, I'll let you know. I've got some peas that all I put in there was some garlic powder and Kinder's too, no butter. And this is the no salted organic one. The Walmart one is the same exact macros, 50 calories for half a cup. And I'm excited about this. This is what I got from Thrive Market. I'm sure they probably sell it in grocery stores as well, but it's like a a knockoff to your box mac and cheese with the creamy cheese already. You don't add anything else, but it's with the bonza pasta. So it's 16 grams of protein, gluten-free. You know, the bonza pasta is what we go to in the Barilla for the extra protein, better ingredients. And y'all, wait till you see how it looks. It better taste like as good as it looks because it looks so fire right now. I cannot wait for that. One serving is almost 300 calories, 285 calories, 16 grams of protein, 11 grams of fat. So macronutrients on point all spread around. I mean, the mac and cheese portion isn't huge, but it's not like microscopic. So I'm here for it. 594 calories for everything you see here. 39 net carbs, basically right here. Y'all, we're always finding new things. This bonza pasta tastes just like Kraft Deluxe in a box mac and cheese. I'm not even lying to you guys. So if you like that kind of thing and you want a healthier version, get this one. It is awesome. I will definitely buy that again. Highly recommend. The chicken is the only chicken breast I feel like I've been able to cut with a fork. It was so juicy and tender, like spot on with the Greek yogurt. I think that's why. 
but it needed like different flavor. Wasn't a big fan of the Parmesan on there. Maybe if I would have put like a rack and let all the juices drip so it wasn't like soggy at the bottom, maybe it would get crispy, then it would be fire or in the air fryer. Hmm. Thoughts? Thoughts down below if you've made something like that and it's crisped up and not been like soggy at the bottom. Not dessert yet. Trying out these electrolytes because your girl forgot to take them. I've been really bad about doing that lately. I don't know what's going on, but I keep forgetting. The strawberry lemonade is a new flavor. They have the mango too. I just tried it and I really like it. Like I like all of them. Don't get me wrong. So pick whatever flavor you like in the electrolytes and get it. But they are fire. The best electrolytes in my opinion. Dessert on repeat because these bars are fire. Everybody keeps asking me on Instagram if they are worth it, if they are good. In my opinion, I think this is like the best tasting they have with that chunks of the cookie dough like I mentioned last night. Fire for 150 calories and five net carbs. Five net carbs, 80 calories for the bar for a total of 230 calories, 10 net carbs for dessert. Fight for my attention, for your attention, you must prove Yesterday was my rest day. We went and got some self-care, feeling all the fall feels. And we had a baseball game yesterday for Wayland. We went and ate afterwards at Texas Roadhouse and we stayed on plan and within our macros, winning. Feeling, uh, my legs are fire. Like, my legs are on fire. Yeah, and my ass too. Like, they are hurting so bad, y'all. Like, we killed leg day today. Uh, psychopath, remember I said yes, leg day twice a week. Really think it's paying off. So if you want to get the booty game, if you want the leg gains, if you want your legs to look muscular and like bigger, then definitely work legs more than just once a week. I think it is very effective and I am loving the results thus far. I wanted to bring up a question one of y'all had last week because I know that not just her and myself, but many of you probably have the same feelings and I wanted to address it. So she asked the question that she was overweight most of her life, all through her 20s. She's lost the weight now in her 30s, but she asked asked me if I regret, um, you know, all that time wasted being overweight. And yeah, obviously I wish I would have been more active as a kid. I wish I would have been, you know, more in shape, worked out way, way, way in my like teens and twenties. Right. And that way we wouldn't have to have struggled like we did to lose all that weight, that 85 pounds plus. I don't regret I don't regret fully because now I am living my life. I'm living my best life now going forward. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with wearing the short shorts now because you couldn't when you were in your teens because you were overweight. And now that you've lost the weight, you can wear them. It doesn't, age doesn't matter. Age is just a number, baby. If you want to wear those shorts because you missed out on all that way before, 
do it. Like I said earlier in this video, you don't know everybody's story. You should not be judging. Someone might have wanted to wear a pair of cutoff shorts their entire freaking life and they couldn't. Now they've lost the weight. They might be in their 40s. Who gives an ish if they are wearing cutoff shorts and living their best life? Let them live. Let them feel good in their body. They've worked freaking hard for that. There is no reason why they should be shamed for wearing those short shorts and feeling good when they were shamed for being fat way back when. You know what I mean? We've got to stop this. We've got to stop judging people. We've got to stop shaming people, no matter what body size they are. I don't care if they are thin as a twig. I don't care if to you and your eyes, they look like they're overweight. I don't care if they're 500 pounds. Quit judging them. You do not know their story. They might be 500 pounds, but guess what? They might have been 800 pounds at one point and they've lost freaking hundreds of pounds of weight. You don't know their story. So yes, guys, you just got to keep showing up, doing the damn thing, putting that work in each and every day. You're going to see results. Don't have regrets. Just live your life now. This life is too short to waste it. There's too short of a life to live in regret. You need to just live your life. Live your life today. Forget about all the things that you did in the past. You can't do anything about it. You can't go back and reverse. I wish we could, right? I wish we could go back and tell our younger selves to be healthier, to work out, to put the little Debbie down. Damn you, little Debbie. But we can't. So all we can do is move forward today, make good decisions today, make good decisions tomorrow, and for the rest of your life. Set yourself up for success. Now move forward and live your life for today. Almost one o'clock lunchtime. We are doing the same bowl we've done in the past for a meal prep video. It's the Trader Joe's seafood shrimp burgers. They're good. I had two left, some bonza pasta and some classico pasta sauce and there's already Parmesan on it for 504 calories, 32 net carbs for meal prep for the win. 2.30, finishing up some work before we hit snack time. So I've got a Dr. Pepper Cherry Zero Sugar. And with that, we're gonna up the energy with the Redmond's Relight New Energy Boost Capsules. I took these yesterday, I think, and it's all natural stuff. Calcium, magnesium, chloride, sodium, potassium, coconut water. It does have 160 milligrams of caffeine. We've got some ginseng root extract, maca root extract. I mean, all good stuff in there. I haven't taken it long enough to tell you if I like see some effects from it, but I did feel a little jolt of energy yesterday when taking it. So I'm going to use this again. Don't forget, this is all new stuff. They have new flavors. There are electrolytes in Burgess gets you that discount. Don't ever pay full price on anything that I recommend. If I have a code, I try to get you one. About to make my snack and look what arrived at the door. Man, this was fast. They were on it this week, Built Bar and PE Science. I got the pumpkin pie spice. This is still available, I think. So check down below 10 off 30 and that will get you 10 off 30 on this because I think this is like 30 something dollars by itself. And these are gone though I think when you're watching so if you missed out holy snap because it is bomb I'm about to eat one right now beyond snack time but we've been hella busy around here we've got the white chocolate protein pumpkin muffin yes please so good and I cannot wait to use the new protein powder in all the things it's going to be epic Chobani zero sugar mixed berry one so happy to find those locally now and then yes we are doing a built bar in the cookie dough chunk I mean if you did not get those Ah, you should not have slept on those. They are fire. 300 calories, over 33 grams of protein. Dinner time, y'all. Are y'all ready for this? What? That looks freaking bomb. I cannot wait to dive into that. It kind of reminds me of like Hamburger Helper, but this is called like cheesy beef casserole or pasta. I don't even know. Pinterest recipe. I'll link it down below. I did do some modifications. We're using the Barilla Protein Plus Penne Pasta. Y'all been screaming saying, Nicole, try this one versus the Bonza one. I do like the Bonza one because it's got more protein in it, but this one's the same calories. A little less protein, but y'all said it tastes like legit pasta, but I do like the Bonza one. Cream of mushroom, heart healthy soup, kettle on fire beef, bone broth, and then we've got some of the 2% craft cheddar cheese in there and some spices and legit, that is it. Eight ounces of the pasta, we didn't use the whole box. Divided it out into four portions, weighed it up, did all the things, takes a little bit of time, but if you wanna get the most precise as possible, so that's one portion, substantial here for it. We've got 170 grams of the Great Value Broccoli Ferrets and all I have on it is some Buttery Steakhouse by Kinder's. 518 calories, 45 net carbs, but tons of protein coming from the venison, the pasta, and even the broccoli is a good protein choice for a veggie. Clearly the pasta was disgusting, y'all. Don't even try it, it was so bad. Y'all, next level. If you like Hamburger Helper back in the day, like just a few ingredients, high in protein, 
cheesiness on point with that 2% craft. Let's go craft. I will definitely, definitely make that again. Fire. Never skip dessert. Okay, y'all know I could not, not try the pumpkin pie protein powder the day it came in. I was so stoked because we've been making all the things that will be perfect with that. So all I did is this is the English muffin thing that I do all the time, which is a hundred calorie English muffin by Thomas. And then I take some Faye Greek yogurt, add some protein powder to it, a little bit of water and make like this whip. It's super bomb. And then we've got the nut and basic about this B American dream nut butter. That's probably my favorite one out of the fall line. Not impressed with some of the other ones. I've told y'all that keeping it real. I've got the pumpkin protein muffin that will be fire with this protein powder. But y'all, I tasted the yogurt combo with the protein powder on its own in a bowl. And if you like pumpkin pie, like next level, mind blown by the flavor. It's pumpkin pie, like to a T. It's not pumpkin spice, pumpkin pie, straight up pumpkin. If you like it, you better use that 10 off 30 and stock up because this is limited edition. I'm hoping it's still available by the time you're seeing this. Get it because we're going to be making all things with it. All things I've already showcased we can make with it and it's going to make this fall next level with the games. I am telling you, do not sleep on this. I'm blown away. I was not, I did not have high hopes, honestly. I was hoping, hoping, and man, PE Science blew it out the water. This is gonna be dangerously good. Happy Sunday. We skipped a few days because we've been doing all the mom life, had some rest days, meal prep Sunday. We meal prepped like a boss. Make sure that you watch that meal prep video that posts this Thursday is when I'm posting meal prep videos. A lot of you guys have not been watching, asking for things, and that's because you missed out on the video. So make sure your notification is clicked so you don't miss out on all these new new videos I have on the channel. I also did some meal prep for the boys for their lunch boxes. We're doing Halloween themed lunch boxes this week. I'm having like a hoot doing these lunch boxes all cutesy and fancy as this girl can get them. I wanted to talk to you guys and end the vlog with I'm just feeling really really great. I'm in a really awesome space with doing this anabolic way of eating the way I feel. I have loads of energy. I feel so good in my body right now. When I look in the mirror I am so happy happy with the gains that we are making in the specific areas. I am over the moon thrilled, but I almost got on the scale this morning. I was like, oh, let's get on the scale and see where we are. Make sure that these maintenance calories are where we need to be because I've been at maintenance calories for about three weeks now. And I almost stepped on the scale and I said, you know what? No, the shark's ending this week. You feel great. You love the way that you look in the mirror. Don't let the scale get in your head and get in your mind. Do I need to weigh so I can figure out if this maintenance calories, if I'm where I need to be? Absolutely. But it's not detrimental because I'm loving the gains. I'm loving what I'm seeing. So obviously something's working. So why let that number get in my head and make me feel all the feels that I don't want to feel if it came up a certain way, if that makes sense. So if you want to just go off of pictures and measurements and let that be the gauge of your success on your health journey and just check in on the scale every once in a while. If that is healthy for you, by all means do it. I have clients that do that. They don't weigh in for me every single week. I'm not weighing in every single week, not even every single month. I'm just going off of being consistent, guys. If you're consistent with your eating, if you're consistent with your exercise, you don't need to rely on the damn scale because you're doing everything right. You're doing everything right for your body. You're tracking your weight and you're moving your body. That is all you can ask yourself of. So sometimes the scale is just a disappointment, right? It's a disappointment and it makes you derail your progress and go on bingers and things that you wouldn't have done if you would have stayed off the scale. So that's my little two cents, my little revelation this morning. Did not weigh in. I probably will weigh in next week just to see where we are. We'll see. You know, I'm just loving, just loving how I feel. And that's most important to me is how I I, number one, feel in my body and the results that I'm getting here. I hope y'all enjoyed this week's vlog. It was an amazing week of moving our body and eating, of course, and I'm just looking forward to the new challenge we have coming up. Mark your calendars. October 4th is the Fall for Gains Challenge. Don't forget, let's get ready. Let's hype each other up. Let's tag each other on social media and definitely get that movement and that groove and that vibe going. That's what we want to do going into fall. We don't want to go into a slump and then we have two months that we just like went off in a binger and then January 1st is back and we're like, oh, new year, new me. We don't want that to happen. We want to be consistent 
all year round and be healthy all year round for the rest of our life and not keep going on these yo-yo diets, y'all. Let's just be consistently healthy. I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy these weekly vlogs. And again, don't forget to subscribe. I've got all kinds of new things coming, new videos dropping. I got a video dropping tomorrow if you're watching on Monday, all about anabolic 101. Y'all been asking for it. I got it for you. Love you guys. We'll see you next week for another weekly vlog. Take care.